Macular dystrophy is really a non-specific term that refers to a disease that affects the central part of the retina, and that's the part we see best out of. Uh, the term dystrophy implies an underlying genetic etiology. Uh, another term used uh, commonly is macular degeneration, but there the uh, genetic and environmental factors become uh, more mingled. So macular dystrophy is really not a very specific diagnosis. All it tells us is that somebody has something going on with the central part of their vision or of their retina that is probably of genetic etiology. You would be at risk if you have a family history of a, uh, macular dystrophy, especially if it's an immediate family member and where you know that uh, it, is an inher it is inherited in a particular fashion. Uh, for example, uh, a dominant macular dystrophy is passed on from parent to child. A recessive macular dystrophy is present in siblings, but the parents are not affected. And many times there is no family history, but yet it would still be genetically determined and that person would be the first person in their family to be affected. The signs of macular dystrophies are generally a reduction in vision, uh, where you would be able to see an object of a certain size at a certain distance, all of a sudden you can't see it, you ha it has to be larger. You can have uh, blurring w when you read that is not correctable with glasses. And sometimes there are spots uh, where parts of your field of vision in the center would be uh, not there. Other patients may have a change in their color vision. They cannot discriminate colors. Those are also signs of a macular dystrophy. If it is genetically determined at this point in time, there is no way to, to prevent those from happening. Now you cannot prevent it. Now there are ways of minimizing, uh, or we think of, of minimizing the progression by avoiding additional things that make it worse. Uh, certainly high exposure to light and UV, uh, for example, uh, patients would wear UV blocking filters, uh, eating a healthy diet. There is some uh, evidence that maybe certain supplements vitamin supplements hurt, uh, help, um, I'm sorry, certain supplements help in uh, uh, some types of macular uh, degeneration. But honestly, all that evidence is very soft. The outlook depends on the specific etiology. And uh, in 2010, we can make a molecular diagnosis, a genetic diagnosis of macular dystrophy uh, in, a num in a number of uh, types. So we would obtain a sample, and a blood sample, a DNA sample, and, and look for mutations in specific genes. So depending on the gene uh, and our knowledge of the natural history of the macular dystrophies associated with that gene, we can give an estimate of what a person may um, expect. As a general rule, the more severe macular dystrophies have an earlier age of onset, uh, and the milder ones have a later age of onset, uh, even if they are due to mutations in the same gene. And one example of that is called Stargardt disease, uh, where if you get it when you're seven or eight, your vision will drop down quickly, and uh, eventually it will be very poor at an earlier age, but if it starts in your 30s or 40s because of other mutations in the same gene, then you, you keep your vision longer. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that irrespective of um, what they are, they almost always continue to progress. In macular dystrophies, as a general rule, even if they're detected, we still cannot offer therapy. However, 
because of how fast science is going and because of the availability of treatment for very rare instances and the extensive work that's being done, yes, you want to know early and you want to be diagnosed and know specifically what gene is involved in case the treatment becomes available. You don't want to miss out on it or be delayed because, yes, you know there's something wrong with your retina, but you don't know what it is. So uh, we, we continue to recommend um, routine uh, uh, detailed examinations in adults uh, to detect glaucoma, cataracts, and, and other things that are treatable. And if we find a disease that currently is untreated, at least we are much better able to provide a specific diagnosis now than we were a few years ago.